asteroids in our game previously were all hand placed, uh, painstaking but for the designers and the artists to position them. Um, and obviously had a practical limit of how many we could actually place by manual process. So with the new request from design was so they could place hundreds or even millions of asteroids. So the new system was designed to be able to cope with any scale that we can come up with. So uh, each asteroid field, we only have a, the client has a few basic properties of how the asteroid field should look. So what type of asteroids it should be, what type of density, what color, things like this, some really basic information. And then from that, it's able to seed where every single asteroid in the entire uh, asteroid belt will be from that small amount of information. And the benefit of that is that every client doesn't really need to communicate with the server and they can on their own decide exactly what they need to render and what they need to simulate per frame. This is from our design document on how we design the asteroids and how we want them to work for the designers. So um, we, we produce a texture that has uh, four different channels to control the four different main properties of the asteroid field uh, or the four properties that they want to change per asteroid field. Um, so to achieve something like Saturn's rings like this, we would have textures like this where we define the height of it. Uh, the offset is type of like how um, if it was going to wiggle up and down, which for Saturn's rings they're perfectly flat, so that's a flat color. Uh, the variation is to handle like different colors, different materials, uh, made of different composites, metals, whatever we might find, and then a density control as well. And if we go to another example, this is from Oblivion. They have this uh, destroyed moon, which is a bit like our broken moon example. We might have something like this, where we have a lot more interesting variations. So we have a pattern in the height. It's going to have some verticality in it from this offset. Uh, it's going to have some variation and then the density has a nice feather off on it. And it should be really easy for the artists to go through or the designers to go through and quickly make interesting asteroid fields or quick changes to them, which um, they don't have to spend an eternity coming up with. So um, what I want to show you today is how we're going to use a new asteroid tech in practice. Um, first, what I want to do is show you how we used to have to create asteroid fields because you'll see um, this new tech just makes it so much easier and look so much better. So this here, as you probably recognize, is yellow. Um, it's the moon with the asteroid ring around it that we put in um, in our first iteration 2.0. This here is the current density that you'll see in uh, 2.5. That's the old tech, turn that off. Here's the new. As you can see, generating. The way it generates that is it, um, we have, say, about nine or 10 asteroids, uh, unique kind of uh, asteroid models in there. And it goes through and it makes them one at a time, layers them on top of each other. As you can see there, the density, the depth, just the sheer amount, as you can see, these things are rotating very subtly. Obviously, that the point is very subtly, but I can show you this kind of um, to the extreme just very quickly. There you go. What's going to happen is the smaller ones will rotate much faster than the larger ones to the point where the largest don't rotate at all because we'd be putting bases on there, these, you know, these kind of things. So, for instance, in yellow there are these, um, these locations here that are full of pirates, you know, there's gameplay involved and we've actually crafted those things. What we've put around here is an exclusion zone. Um, which prevents all the other asteroids from spawning in there, the, the dynamic asteroids. So as you can see, all, all of this combined, we're going to end up with a really, you know, much more cinematic asteroid experience. You can imagine flying through here. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, we're finally getting the kind of density and movement that we've been aiming for. There's literally no limit on the scale. We can have them millions and millions of miles wide, the asteroid fields and we can all have them moving as well and you'll never find the same pattern twice every single asteroid will be positioned uniquely so i think that's quite exciting for the gameplay that you literally every single place you go in this asteroid field will be unique <laughs>